Jennings from Camera Jabba and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and organize your images within Adobe Bridge and you can see that just here. Now once you've got been out taking your photographs they're all stored on a memory card so just pop that memory card out of your camera pop it into a card reader or alternatively connect the USB cable from your camera into your computer. It all basically equates to the same thing. Once connected then that SD card will appear in Bridge just like this. So I've just popped the card in and you can see K1 has just appeared. Now if I want to go in and have a look around that card, double click, I can click into the images and here's the image folder. But what I want to do is import everything from this card over to my computer. So to do this I can use Adobe Photo Downloader. So if we go out to File, down to get photos from camera. This will bring up the Adobe Bridge CC photo downloader application. So here we can see we've got get photos from K1, which is my SD card. And if I leave it just as it is, it'll create a subfolder with shot date, year, year, month, month, date, date. So year, month, and day. Or you can adjust these. I highly recommend sticking to shot date. Now, if I just click Get Media, that'll import those all in into that folder. But we want to get things a little bit more organized. So down at the bottom, click Advanced. Then that'll bring up the Advanced dialog window of Photo Downloader. And here we can see we can check all. So we can download everything that's on the SD card or uncheck all and just click the files that we want to import, which is quite handy if you don't delete everything from your cards. So I'm going to select check all because I want to download everything. Now on this card I've got uh, images that were taken over a stretch of four days. So it's created four subfolders and it'll drop those into four subfolders which are the year, month and date. Now I like to keep things a little bit more organised otherwise I'll just end up with hundreds of folders from all years in one folder into my pictures folder. So what we're going to do is just break that down a little bit more. So if we go to choose, here's my pictures folder, new folder, and I'm just going to break it down to 2017, create. So everything I take this year will end up in this folder. Click choose. Then I'm going to keep with that folder structure of year, month, and day. Rename files. I do like to rename my files, so I'll go down to advanced rename text and I'm just going to call this uh, serum uh, walk and we can see a preview of the file name just appear here down at the bottom serum walk date created so 2017 05 um, then text we've just got an underscore which separates and sequence number will be the sequence in the um, in the files that are downloaded uh, I like to keep hold of my um, original file name within my download. So we choose metadata and we should have image unique ID. And that will be the unique ID of that file. So the current file name is P5180152. And the new file name is 5180152 with Serum Walk 2017-05-18. So it's a little bit longer. But when I come to do searches, uh, just through uh, the OS search, it's more likely to find if I've got a rough idea of the date or of the sequence number or description, it'll bring that picture up. So we click OK. Now I skip all of the rest of the options generally. I will preserve current file name in the XMP. Creator, I just want to add that, Alistair Jennings and the copyright also to me, so I'm going to put that there. So once we've done that, all I need to do is click Get Media, and that's now importing all of the images in from the last four days into Bridge and into my Pictures folder 2017, and then breaking down into those smaller folders. And once it's all completed, then that dialog window just disappears. So here we are, we're in Bridge, we can see some Pictures folder, we can see our four folders and if I click into those I can then see all of the pictures from that particular shoot. Likewise all of the others 
contain the other images on the SD card. Mostly very boring. So that's all very well and good, but now if I come into my 2017 folder and I'm looking for those Serum Walk pictures, it's quite difficult to tell whether it was folder one, two, three or four. I mean, there's only a few days difference between each one. So I'd have to click in, click out. Um, some of them are the Palette Gear uh, review, others are a Color Swatch uh, review. And I don't really want to be diving in and out of folders with a rough idea of when uh, an image was taken. So we're just going to finish this off by giving each of these folders a little bit more of a description. So we know this was taken on the 1st of May 2017. So I'm just going to put Serum Walk. And there we go. Now, when they're all listed out, it's much easier just to see that Serum Walk. So that's how to download and organize your images within Adobe Bridge CC.